Live Jerome Party Studio. Live from Jerome Harden Studio. Live from Jerome Harden Studio. This is the last of my discast. I want to say about so you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll see you later. What's up on JR? Are you sure? Alright, let's get started. Live from Jerome Harden Studios. This is the latest on my update that I'm going to tell you about. So as you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll tell you the latest. Hello, my name is Jerome J. Harden, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios. Alright, so let's uh, talk about three topics that are going to be discussed in the future. I'm not going to explain everything right off the bat. I'm just going to let y'all know as a pre warrant on what I'm going to stuff because... These are three important topics also that I'm going to be talking about, which is YouTube influencers, life of the child stars, which is the most important one we're going to talk about because of the children involved in the showbiz industry. You know, a lot of children are being abused, manipulated, overworked, and all that stuff. And also, um, the most thing that we're going to talk about is our teachers treated poorly in the U.S. So, three topics we're going to talk about. Um, and I'm going to be uh, explaining a little bit of everything on uh, each of these three topics. So, um, I hope you guys are ready to, ready to listen. I hope you got your ears open. So, let's talk about it. YouTube influencers. Um, and what I mean by YouTube influencers, you know, I myself has a YouTube channel, which is already Jerome Hart Studios. I had mine since 2011. Um, ever since then, I haven't had many views. Uh, I haven't had many subscribers. But most of y'all are so lucky to get that many subscribers. You know, most people I've been talking to in high school don't even have many followers, many subscribers. You know, people in the Huntsville, Alabama area are just, you know, low profile celebrities. So if you call yourself a celebrity and you don't have that many followers, you're not a celebrity at all. But, you know, YouTube influencers, you know, they have millions, millions of views, you know, they have millions of followers on Instagram, TikTok, you know, it takes a lot to be a star on the internet, so it just isn't like Hollywood, you know, you know, get Tosh.0, for instance, you know, and, uh, you know, some people, when you are rich and you have that many followers, sometimes when you look up to a celebrity to give you advice on how to do better with yourself the celebrity you're look you're looking up to may not be nice at all in real life so you know just to give you a head up a celebrity can be really mean they can be really nice or they can portray different from their character so you never know what a celebrity's life is like so definitely going to be talking about that in the future um same thing as youtube influencers that has many followers and they call themselves a celebrity you know sometimes people can different from their character they can act out you know they go crazy because of this you know paparazzi and all this stuff and the next topic um i'm going to be telling you a little about that we're going to discuss in the future is the life of child stars you know and that's the most important because you know it's all about the kids really you know you do not want to put your child in danger in the Hollywood industry, the acting industry, because it's a really tough world out there when it comes to acting at a young age. Um, some start as eight months old, starting, some start when they come out of their mother's belly. So it's just like this, you know, when you're a child star, you're overworked, you have to say your lines, you're manipulated, and you know, it, it, you're the one making the money and not the parents and the parents can act really selfish toward their child they can spend the child's money on some shit and you know it's just like they don't even care about the child they care about themselves and depend on the child to make the money so that was the reason why i say that you know the life of a child star in the hollywood industry can be really tough you know, it's very, you know, it's very overworked. It's very dangerous. You know, there are a lot of Hollywood producers that, you know, that are predators that, you know, sometimes there are, sometimes they're not. But, you know, I'm just saying that, you know, there are a lot of predators out there, you know, 
that can take advantage of children, really. So we're definitely going to be talking about that in the future. And the final topic is, are teachers poorly treated in the U.S.? So let's talk about this. Um, I think what I'm going to be doing, um, and I'm going to be doing some research to see how teachers are treated in the U.S. Because right here where I live, Things are not going good right now. I'm not going to say the name of the school system, but, you know, I don't know what's been going on behind those doors, but, you know, I'm going to do an investigation on why, uh, if teachers are treated good or not. Sometimes teachers complain of how they are treated by their supervisor. They're not getting paid enough. You know, kids are acting up. People... I mean, kids are sh threatening to shoot up schools, really, because this has been a trend lately. Let's not forget about it. This has been a trend lately. I'm going to tell you the truth about it. I am not lying right now. This has been a trend lately that, you know, students have threatened to shoot up schools. I mean, kids been touching guns. and They've they been shooting up schools and all stuff. Teachers are fearing their lives, trying to protect their children from danger. So they ought to get something in return. For their bravery, right? Well, not really. But anyways, we're going to be talking about that in the future. See how really they be treated. Because that right there is going to be included in that topic as well. So I hope you guys are ready for everything that I have to say about these three topics. Because this is going to be a wild ride, folks. Because this real world stuff is really serious. And... It's just not simple anymore. We don't even have internet back then, just like in the 1930s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, whatever. We don't even know about what's been going on behind Hollywood. We don't even know what's been going on behind uh, the teacher's desk. You don't know what's been going on behind YouTube. You don't even know all that till I explain it to you. Because I've been watching the YouTube uh, stuff lately. I watch a lot of YouTube, for real, but you know. Anyways, um, I think that's all the topics that I'm going to be talking about for right now. But tune in in the future for these three topics. And we're going to be talking about that for there. So um, I hope you guys are ready. But anyways, so for right now, I'm Jerome Harden, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios. I am out. Peace.